Hi guys, Andy here again, messing about in the garage with a diesel heater. So if you've got one of these, you'll know how good they are. Uh, and also you'll know how hot this exhaust pipe gets. So I've just been trying to do a few experiments, uh, making use of this heat. So just a quick one today. Uh, I've zigzagged it through some 22mm copper pipe uh, before it goes out the, uh, the garage wall. And comes out the other side there. So we're all ready to uh, start it up, but before I do, I've got one thing to do, black paint. I've been trying to use this with uh, the shiny materials and it just doesn't work and a few people have said to me that some, some matte black spray will uh, enable me to get some temperatures for the, from the heat gun. So I'm doing this for you guys. Everyone that said paint it black, I'm doing it for you now. Ah, but thanks for your tips. I appreciate them. We've got a couple of coats. And uh, if you haven't seen my other videos, please, please go and check them out, guys. I've, uh, I've got one or two videos of um, me messing about with these diesel heaters. So I know it wants to be uh, like a matte black. Um, I didn't have any stove paint uh, to deal with the heat, uh, but I had this black uh, primer, so that should stay pretty matte anyway. So uh, for those of you that haven't saw my other videos, uh, there's another one of these uh, diesel heaters in that black box there that's heating my house up um, and it's been really really efficient for the last three months um, so if you are interested in heating your house up with uh, one of these diesel heaters quite quite cost effective uh, please go and check that out guys so there we are guys we've uh, we sprayed that a nice nice matte black screwed it on with the uh, to the exhaust with the jubilee clip and uh, the outlet the jubilee clip going outside so i'll uh, i'll get the heater started up and we'll we'll see how it goes there you go as you know takes a few minutes to uh, to get going there's the heater just coming into life um, for those of you that don't know you hear the uh, the ticking noise that's the diesel pump starting and then you can hear a little bit of a roar as the heat starts uh, but I'm interested to uh, see how this get this gets on today with the heat going around all these tight bends I mean that might um upset the running of the heater a little bit I don't know yet and we've got the heat gun guys so I'll just give that a little check 12 degrees I think it was it was 11 actually to start off with that's that's gone up a, a degree already does does all this part does gain in in heat really fast you won't be able to put your hands on that in just a few minutes So it's, uh, it's quite a long piece of uh, copper pipe, that longer than you think. It was a three metre length and that's all that's left out of the, uh, the three metre length. So that has really took a bit of uh, pipe there. As I always say guys, thanks for your comments. I really do appreciate them. I mean, look at that, that paint's doing its job there, that matte black paint. Uh, I've done this experiment before with, with copper pipe. Yeah, that's 20 now. And, uh, if you just pointed that at the copper pipe, you're not getting any reading at all. So, uh, thanks for your comments and, and please always give me some more. We're outside at the end of the exhaust pipe and look at the condensation of that. When I've run this, uh, the, the exhaust gases through the same length of pipe, um, but without the bends in it as, as I've made on that radiator, I didn't, 
didn't get that much condensation um, so the bends have probably caused the extra there they obviously uh, cause a little bit of restriction and uh, slow the uh, slow the process down the gases coming out the uh, exhaust and it might affect the machine we'll see in a little while yeah look at the heat there guys 27 18 13 So the total length of that exhaust pipe is uh, is five meters. This little um, flexi piece is two meters. Uh, the copper pipe there is it was three meters minus this piece, uh, and including that piece that comes out of the machine, um, you've got five meters there, guys. I mean, it's, it's quite a lot of it's quite a length to uh, to push the gases out. Let us know what you think, guys. Um, is it is it good for the machine? Is it not? Um, do adjustments need to be made the fan speed or whatever uh, yeah like I said I love your comments please please give us some about 37 about 38 about 2 obviously you can't touch any of that that, that pipe there that 22mm copper pipe you can't touch that guys really hot the, the heater seems to be running fine um, whether long term it might have an effect on it um, I don't know sooting up or or whatever or strain on the, I don't know the fan I'm guessing uh, but this is just a silly experiment guys um, you know to provoke discussion uh, and ideas but you, you could be uh, heating one room up with the heater have that pass through into another small room so I don't know shed or little outdoor office whatever um, and making use of these uh, waste exhaust gases before they um, go out the wall and you've got five meters of sort of approximately one inch pipe there um, that you can't touch that's producing some heat there there's got to be one kilowatt or maybe maybe up to two kilowatts of heat there to be made use of but uh, if you haven't got one of those heaters, uh, please look into getting one. Um, you're just coming out of the a time of filming here, just coming out of the winter. And I see this, the price dropping slightly. Uh, I'll put a link to these in the uh, description. Um, and I mean, yeah, as, as the warmer weather comes, uh, it might be the time to, to buy them and get ready for next year. And, and again, for those of you that don't know, uh, these run on kerosene, there's a little one gallon tank there and you've got to have a 12 volt supply, either a, a car battery or um, any, any type of, uh, there's mine under there, a little 12 volt supply. It does mean you can use these anywhere, they're so portable. Um, the main use I think people are using for now is camping. Uh, you use them on boats, you can have one in your shed, in your allotment, uh, your shed there, in your greenhouse, whatever. Uh, so versatile. So the, uh, the condensation didn't stop. Uh, that's been consistently like that. So uh, thanks very much for watching guys. Uh, Stay nice and warm and uh, please give me a little like and subscribe to help me on my way with my YouTube journey. Bye guys.